So my Leviathan really loves celestial, which is to say things that have to do with the sky. So we got a little set from Scholastic, our great friend who sells books at schools, about the sun! Exclamation point. Here's the sun, number one. One in a billion. Stacy McNulty illustrated Stevie Lewis. Read this book about sun, written by sun, while you revolve around the, you guessed it, sun. Oh, he's so proud. He's putting his thumb towards himself. Mm -hmm. At least I assume it's a he. Let's see. Sun, one in a billion. Mm -hmm. It's a beautiful orange and yellow. A billion is a very large number. For Mom, you are my sunshine, SM. For Stanley, Emily, and Alice, you are the sun that keeps me filled with joy and life, SL. For Pluto, regardless of your status, you'll always be a part of my solar system, S. So, our universe, sun, one in a billion, by sun, with Stacy McNulty, illustrated by sun, and Stevie Lewis. How funny. He's so funny, isn't he? Hoo, 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 hoo. Looks like he's patting his belly. Once upon a time, about 4.6 billion years ago, a magnificent and important star was born. Ooh. And that magnificent and important star was me, your son, with a capital S. Oh. Yes, I am a star. Star. One. A massive and luminous ball of gas full of energy. Sun is reading the dictionary. Two. An outstandingly talented and popular performer. I fit both definitions. Oh, wow. See, look at all the planets. Here's Jupiter and Earth. I think that's Mars. And there's other planets. It's a little harder for me to tell. The Milky Way galaxy has over 100 billion stars. So that's a picture of the Milky Way galaxy. Oh, it's so pretty. And boop, me. That makes me one in a billion. Or, um... One in a hundred billion. I'm not the biggest, so what? Not the brightest, who cares? Not the oldest, whatever. But I am the most important, at least to you earthlings. Look at all the people with their plants on the earth. We wouldn't be able to grow plants if it weren't for the sun. We wouldn't be able to live here if it weren't for the sun. Can you hang out for eight minutes? That's how long it takes my light to reach Earth. That's true. Yep, I give you heat and light. You're welcome. I'm so important that Earthlings should name a special day in my honor. We can call it Sunday. Oh, wait. Ha <laughs> ha. Sunday. Is Sunday your favorite day? It's a nice day. Oh, look at all these animals. Oh, on the farm, there's chicken. There's deer. The deer aren't on the farm, but they're nearby. There's cows. One, two, three cows. Let's see here. One, two, three, four, five, six white chickens. Oh, seven, eight. I see heads. Some three red chickens. One, two, three. One gray. Maybe one's a rooster. I don't know. But look at the house with the red roof. I'm famous for my heat and light, but I also hold our entire solar system together. Oh, he's got a little how huggy group photo. I love it. It's so cute. Scientists call it gravity. What can I say? The planets are attracted to me. That's true. <laughs> That's cute. And because I'm the center of our solar system, Life revolves around me, literally. 
Here's Neptune. Neptunian year is 60,190 Earth days. Wow. And here's Uranus. The Uranian year is 30,687 Earth days. Wow. An Earth year, for example, we're going to skip for a second, is 365. So, so many more. So back to the order. So Neptune, Uranus, Saturn, Saturnian year, 10,756 Earth days. Wow. Look there, friends. High fiving. All right. Let's look at Jupiter. A Jovian year. That's how, what they call it. It's 4,333 Earth days. Wow. Mars, Martian year, 687 Earth days. So it's right about two years. Wow. A little less than Earth. Our Earth years is 365. Well, and, and there's a portion in there. That's why we have leap years. So that's a quarter of a day. All right, let's go then to Venus. A Venetian year is 225 Earth days. So their year is shorter. Mercury, Mercurial year, 88 Earth days. That's really short. Wow. And then the sun at the center. Those other stars are far, far away from Earth, which makes them look teeny tiny and not so important. I'm close, a mere 93 million miles from Earth. For, for stars in space, that's close, but that is really far. To an Earthling, I look like this. Super close. But to Neptunians, I'm 2,795 million miles away. And I look like this. Doop. If there were Neptunians, there's no known life on Neptune. Technically, I'm a yellow dwarf star. Oh, identification card. Type sun. Name sun. Type dwarf star. Date of birth, long ago, D-O-B. Well, and that says what galaxy is in the Milky Way. Oh, he's a plasma donor. That's funny. But I'm still a big, big deal. If I were the size of a basketball, Earth would be smaller than a grain of sand. You could fit about one million Earths inside me. Oh, he looks very full indeed. <laughs> so funny. But you can't fill me with Earths because I'm hot stuff. Compare a sunny, a hot summer day, 90 degrees Fahrenheit. Definitely an American book. Oop. A pizza oven, 700 degrees Fahrenheit. Oop. The yellow or the orange yellow flames in a campfire, about 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit. Oop. And me, about 10,000 degrees Fahrenheit on the surface, I can melt diamonds. Me at my center, 27 million degrees Fahrenheit. Wow, that's a lot. Ancient earthlings thought I circled the earth. Can you imagine me revolving around earth oh look at that sad droopy earth and some might think that i sit in the sky all day and all night but i got moves baby i'm spinning and because i'm not solid my middle moves faster than my top and bottom so it takes this one says about 25 earth days to rotate and then the edges, about 36 Earth days to rotate. Don't try this at home. Goodness me. Don't try and be a sun for sure. I'm not only important, I'm generous and good looking. Sunrises, oh look at the pretty daisies. Sunsets, these are pretty red flowers. Northern lights, that's the reflection there. Southern lights, also reflected. Sit back and enjoy the show. Mm -hmm. 
Sometimes I like to be mysterious and sneak away for a few minutes. Solar eclipse. But don't worry, I'm just behind the moon. While I'm astronomically bigger than the moon, 400 times wider, just say he's much larger, and he's in space, the moon is astronomically closer to Earth, almost 400 times closer. Wow, see, they're giving a little hug with what he's looking over there. My neighbor stars have fancy names. Meet Proxima Centauri, Alpha Centauri A, and Alpha Centauri B. Yep, those are the next closest stars. So Proxima Centauri, Alpha Centauri, Alpha Centauri A. Me, I need just three letters. Give me an S. Give me a U. Give me an N. So S. U N. What does that spell? Sun. Sun, sun. He's our star. Light and heat from afar. Please note that's a capital S. I am important. Oh my. Well, I guess that's true. Not to hog the spotlight, but I've still got it. I'm the same hot, bright star I've always been. A star's fall. Apart, meltdown, total collapse, Milky Way Herald, a stable star is a good star. You don't want your sun getting hotter or cooling off. That would be really messy. Yes, that would be bad. So grab your shades. I plan to be in the biz for another six billion years. You and me. We've got a bright future together. Do not look like straight at the sun, actually. So, I mean, it's fine in this picture, but do not look straight at the sun because it will burn your eyes. It is very, very strong. So don't look at it for more than just an instant or two. Even when there's an eclipse, there's special glasses for that. So here's a bunch of cool Q&As. And... Here's so a cool letter from Stacey McNulty. So author and frequent wearer of sunblock. So I like this over here. Um, it says, Dear Reader, I love our son, and I think he deserves a name. Perhaps Buck or Reginald or Mostus in Potusness Centauri Earth. And our very planet awesome could not exist without sun. And without Earth, there would be no chocolate chip cookies. Very true. Picture books or frisky puppies, which are a few of my favorite things. So I guess I need to say thank you, son, with a capital S. Thank you for light, heat, and energy and the gravity that keeps earth revolving at the most perfect distance from your super hot surface too close we'd be scorched too far away we freeze you're one in a billion with gratitude stacy mcanalty author and frequent wearer of sunblock p.s scientists are always making discoveries as technology improves we continue to learn more about our universe Every attempt was made to bring you an accurate numbers and facts. We checked, double-checked, and triple-dog-checked. So in the future, if you hear that an astrophysicist has better information, feel free to write in this book. Unless you borrow it from a friend or a library. Then write down the new data on a sticky note and put it inside. Thanks. And there's a list of sources. Oh, this is such an amazing book. I think that you should definitely get this and its little f partner books when you get a chance from them. This is one in a series. I'm going to read the other ones too. Thanks so much for listening. Have a great day.